Hello, and welcome to the first episode of GCS Spotlight, our new monthly video series highlighting the many great things happening in Granville County Schools. Today, the spotlight shines on the J.F. Webb High School campus, home to the J.F. Webb High School of Health and Life Sciences and the Advanced 21 program. We'll also go to Joe Toller Oak Hill Elementary School, which is using a program called Engineering is Elementary to teach engineering concepts to students in grades pre-K through five. Our first stop today is at the J.F. Webb High School of Health and Life Sciences. The school first opened in 2005 and is currently home to 305 students in grades 9 through 12. Last year, 83% of their graduates went on to gain a college education. Recently, they have been recognized as an honor school of excellence as well as a school of distinction. Because of its academic focus, students agree to take additional health or science courses every year, such as biomedical technology, sports medicine, AP Biology, and AP Chemistry. Today, we'll hear from parents, teachers, and students about their experiences at the School of Health and Life Sciences. I chose School of Health and Life Science for my children because of the small classroom settings and the more individualized instruction. The School of Health and Life Science met the needs of my children. My daughter, who was more focused, they were very encouraging. However, my son, who was less focused, they kept the communications open. School of Health and Life Science has prepared my daughter for college with the intense curriculum where she was very successful her first year in college where she made the Dean's List the first and second semester. I would recommend other parents to encourage their children to attend the School of Health and Life Science because of the small classroom settings, the open communications, and the more individualized instruction. I chose the School of Health and Life Science for my children because of the small school feel and the fact that the students are motivated and college bound. The School of Health and Life Science has taught my children how to study in preparation for college. The advanced classes are challenging and require development of time management skills. I strongly encourage parents and students to consider the School of Health and Life Science for their high school career. You have all the benefits of a large high school, including team sports and clubs, with the added benefit of a small school feel. We really want to focus with rigor in that we want to make students ready for the college or the next level. That means writing, that means learning independent study habits, that means learning how to question, that means critical thinking. We really want students when they leave here to, when they go to college, to just to walk in and, and to be successful. At the School of Health and Life Science, we offer our traditional science classes, biology, chemistry, physics, physical science, but then we also have a lot of electives that get the kids out of their comfort zone. We have anatomy and physiology, we have biotechnology, we have sports medicine um, that get the kids interested in science um, and can help them to be prepared for 21st century careers. So Health Occupation Students of America is an organization for students to join to help enhance their knowledge through skills. Um, a couple of those events are called CPR and First Aid, Medical Photography, are just an example of skills that they get to perform at regionals, at state, and then they have an opportunity if they win at state to go to nationals. And this year nationals is in Orlando, Florida. Um, and so we have 48 HOSA members this year, which is the largest they have had in seven years. And they're all paid members, so we can actually say that they are um, true to, to 48. And I'm looking forward to advising them, and we are looking forward to winning. Education is not about retaining knowledge or even knowing the right answer for that matter. If it were, we'd be no better than our textbooks. Education is about preparing the mind for problems that we don't even know exist yet. It's about building the intuition. And the School of Health and Life Sciences has embraced that idea in its entirety. And I feel confident that I can apply to schools like MIT and Duke because they have helped me lay a foundation of intuition and reason. JFI School of Health and Life Sciences provides us with a close-knit learning environment to prepare us for whatever lies ahead. Having the same teachers consistently throughout our time here is really nice and helpful because you know that they are motivated by your success. Although the School of Health and Life Science has emphasis on sciences, we are not limited just to science. We have the opportunity 
and preparation the tools for whatever future that we may choose. Attending JF Webb School Health Life Science, you have grown to know these teachers around the campus. These teachers have built relationships with you that are going to last a lifetime. Being in a close-knit environment like School Health Life Science, these teachers know your habits and will be able to work with you timeless and timeless again. After the teachers have learned your study habits, they know that you, what you're capable of and all the things that you can do, and they want to push you to reach your goal ultimately. Attending School Health Life Science doesn't mean you have to pursue a career in science, but it means that you can do whatever your teachers want to inspire you to do. And I have many teachers here that have inspired me and have pushed me to go further than I ever thought I could. Grandma County Schools has provided me with a strong, positive learning experience with teachers dedicated to their students' success and the technology to implement new teaching methods. Advance 21 is a new program this year at JF Webb High School. The goal of Advance 21 is to become the top producer of the most technologically advanced students in the state of North Carolina. To accomplish this goal, Advance 21 provides students with challenging technology courses such as scientific visualization, computer engineering, networking, and game art design. Additionally, students complete work-based and community-based learning hours. Today, we'll hear from the students and staff about the program. Welcome to Advanced 21. Um, I chose Advanced 21 because in the future I have ideas of being a game art designer or taking up com computer engineering. So I decided to come to Advanced 21. This is a great class to take if you ever want to decide to do computer engineering game art design or Sybis or anything like that. I chose Advanced 21 because I'm creative and I just like doing 3D modeling and stuff like that and um, the program that we're using I'm sort of familiar with and um, I just love doing this stuff and um, I think it's fun and it's just a great thing to have and they're offering like internships and uh, stuff in your 12th grade year where you can make some money and just go ahead and get out in the work field. Advanced 21 is a great program, not only for sitting in the classroom and learning all of the fundamentals of the technology, but also getting the straight up work experience with working on computers, with going to other classrooms and helping other teachers, and with all the different things you can do with programs like 3DS Max, where you do what everyone in the industry does with game art design, um, and make real lifelike um, images and uh, shapes and how you modify them, how you change them and you can really get a lot of great work experience in the Advanced 21 program. I didn't take computer engineering one or two. I knew almost nothing about how to build a computer but when I just dove right into it I built my own computer. I really learned a lot from just um, helping other people, uh, helping my own computer at home, um, and a lot of the stuff that I did in the classroom was around uh, helping other teachers with their problems with their computers, changing the batteries or hard drive problems, motherboard problems, and using my problem solving skills that I learned in the Advanced 21 courses allowed me to um, fix these computers and help everyone and myself. One of the great advantages of Advance 21 is the students get to use a 3D printer. The 3D printer works with 3DS Max, the drawings they create using 3DS Max, they get to actually replicate and create with the 3D printer that extrudes the drawings into an actual 3D model made out of plastic. What makes Advance 21 unique is all of our electives are under one umbrella now, and the students their junior year get to go out and do community service hours. Students last summer got to work through the IT department at, at Granville Schools and work 25 to 35 hours a week. The students during their senior year get an opportunity to do an internship that is fully credited and possibly paid. The internships will be within the community of Granville County. Well, the reason why I took this class was just like just something to give me some. It was a good credit and all that and helps me out with like developing graphics and all that. And it just, it's really helpful for a college credit, I guess. The reason why I chose to be in Advanced 21 is because I like the work of computers and I'm a PC gamer 
and I think it'll be fun for me to get a job working with computers. Hi, I'm Scott Compton. I teach SciViz here at JF Webb. I also teach computer engineering as well for the Advanced 21 program. Um, in SciViz, this is my classroom. Right now, what we're studying is vectors and bitmap images. We learn a lot about uh, image types, editing, um, some design questions like balance, proportion, stuff like that in the first half. The second half, we move on to 3D animation, which we use 3D Studio Max. To work on that, we have many tutorials, which we've gotten. Um, curriculum's been updated fairly recently, so we're going through. They make things like a tank to learn how to use the simple tools, and then they make a jet, and we move on to their own custom projects where they design what they want, like a lizard or something they're more interested in. And after they graduate from SciViz 1 and 2, and they've completed that, they have game art design, which they can use these skills to actually try to incorporate them into a video game. Hi, my name is Cynthia Hester. I'm the Technology Computer Support Specialist at JF Webb High School. Um, I'll be talking about our Advanced 21 Summer Interns. Um, don't know how I would have gotten through the summer without them. They're meticulous in what they do. They re-image computers. They packed up computers that had to be sent out for repair. Uh, they made charts so we could um, follow the process of the computers being repaired. Um, they know the students, so when I need a student to come to my office, they, come, they go get the, locate the student for me. Um, it's nothing that they can't do. They, they're like my right and left hand. Um, I'm glad they had the opportunity of doing it. I really enjoyed it and they were a big help. Hello, I'm Teresa Murphy. I teach agriculture here at JF Webb High School. Uh, my experiences with the Advanced 21 students uh, so far this year have been uh, highly positive. We had a number of desktop computers here in the classroom that we were no longer using, and uh, the Advanced 21 students came in and took care of all those pieces of equipment and recycled them so that they could use them for other purposes. We also had a, a couple of uh, desktop CPUs here in our room that we had some issues with and those students came in and uh, and did some troubleshooting to figure out what was going on with those with those computers and made the repairs quickly and efficiently and uh, we've been highly impressed with the uh, efforts of those Advanced 21 students. The Advanced 21 program is a part of our school choice network. Any Granville County High School student may attend JF Webb High School to be a part of this program. For more information on the application process, please contact the school. The final stop on today's show is Joe Toller Oak Hill Elementary School, where engineering is elementary. Joe Toller Oak Hill is in its first year teaching the engineering is elementary curriculum to students in all grade levels. This program is also a part of the school choice network. Families wishing to be a part of this program for the 2014-2015 school year should contact the school for more information. Engineering is elementary, or EIE for short, was developed by the Boston Museum of Science. It is a rigorously researched classroom tested curriculum that increases students' interest in and confidence about engineering. EIE is designed to encourage all children to envision themselves as potential engineers. EIE engages students in hands-on, project-based lessons. Each lesson encourages students to read, write, think, and design like an engineer by using the engineering design process. What do you like about engineering? Well, like that you can always put your hands on stuff and like design stuff. I like about what I like is about engineering is that you get to like draw and plan. I like about I like about engineering that you get to use wheels and axles and levers and any kind of planes and things like that. What do engineers do? Um, they like create stuff. They they think outside of the box. Who can be an engineer? Um, anybody. Anybody can? Do you guys want to be an engineer? Yeah. Would you recommend a school like this to other kids? Yes. Why would you recommend it? Because it has it has um, engineering because you get to like you get to draw and you get to create and plan and build and think about and imagine that. Yes. What are some different things that we've done to help you work as a team? Um, we've done the tower. We built tower out of tape, um, scissors, and like little cards. And cards. 
Um, who came to Family Engineering Night? What did you do at Family Engineering Night? Um, who came with you? My dad. And what did you and your dad build? We, um, we, a tower with um, sp um, spaghetti. You did a tower with spaghetti? Tell me about your boat experiment, too. Um, well, what we did is we, she gave, they gave us a piece of, um, foil, foil, and we had to shape it into a boat, and we put it in the bucket of water, and then we had to put, um, washers? Yeah, washers in them to see, um, how many washers it would take for it to, to hold. Okay. Is there anything else that you guys would say about the engineering program this year? Anything you would want to tell other kids or other families? That engineering is fun to learn about, like, because you get to plan and draw stuff out. So if you get confused about something, you just have to follow those steps. Okay. And you get to touch gooey things. <laughs> you get to touch gooey things. The parents here at Joe Tola Oak Hill Elementary have been very positive for the STEM initiative. The parents here have had the opportunity to be involved in several STEM challenges in our STEM lab. They have expressed their concerns as it's, the activities have been very engaging for their children. The children have come home sharing ideals and their experiences in the STEM lab. This is a wonderful opportunity to have the STEM initiative here at Joe Toller Oak Hill Elementary. Hi, I'm Tammy Blackwell and I'm a second grade teacher at Toller. Um, I have seen a lot of excitement with the STEM program this year. The children and the parents are very excited about all the engineering design challenges. Um, I've seen students working as teams a lot this year um, and they're really excited about doing the different challenges. Every time that they, um, that they hear that we are going to do a challenge, they are very eager. Um, and some students who don't flourish in the normal classroom setting are really getting a chance to shine with the challenges. Um, I'm also a parent of a kindergarten student here and she is very excited about doing the different challenges. In kindergarten, um, my little girl talked about um, being able to catch the gingerbread man. They had to design something that would catch him and hold him. Hi, my name is Florence Blackwell and I'm a fifth grade teacher here at Joe Toller Oak Hill Elementary and um, the engineering design program this year has, um, I believe, helped me as a teacher because I um, ask deeper questions of myself to help my students. I believe that it has helped my students um, on the playground. They have stopped and started asking questions of each other to help them get along better, so it's improved their behavior. And I believe it has improved their attendance because they want to be here, they're excited about being here and doing the challenges that um, we've been doing this year. One of the challenges that we've done is they've designed a knee brace for an injured knee. Um, and they, in fact, want to improve on their designs right now. This concludes the first episode of GCS Spotlight. Be sure to join us again next month as we highlight many more of the great things happening in Granville County Schools.